The Indianapolis Star has made a decisive move following an inappropriate exchange involving sports columnist Greg Doyle and WNBA rookie Caitlin Clark during her introductory news conference with the Indiana Fever. Doyle has been banned from covering Clark and the Fever for the upcoming summer season, with the Star confirming this decision in response to inquiries. Additionally, reports suggest Doyle is currently serving a two-week suspension without pay, although the Star did not confirm this detail. The incident that prompted this action occurred during Clark's April 17 news conference after she was selected as the first overall pick in the WNBA draft. Doyle's interaction with Clark became the center of attention when he awkwardly flashed a heart sign at her, followed by a comment that drew widespread criticism from both fellow journalists and the public. Doyle's subsequent apology on social media acknowledged the clumsiness of his actions and expressed sincere regret for any offense caused. He later reiterated his apology in a column acknowledging the wrongfulness of his words and actions. This decision by the Indianapolis Star represents a significant development, given Doyle's long-standing presence as a columnist and his prominence within the local sports media landscape. Despite his ban from directly covering the Fever and Clark, Doyle will still be permitted to write about the team, albeit without attending games or team events in person. Caitlin Clark's rise to national prominence as college basketball's all-time leading scorer with Iowa has brought heightened attention to the sport, and her transition to the WNBA alongside other prominent rookies has been eagerly anticipated. With Clark's debut with the Fever during the preseason showcasing her scoring prowess, there's a palpable sense of anticipation for her impact on the league's growth, which has already seen significant increases in TV ratings. The Fever's upcoming regular season opener against the Connecticut Sun on May 14 promises to be a focal point of this heightened interest.